And we're passing our mechanical lifters across the stringers over to the other side. Basically, we lay it flat on its side and we pass across the other end. We like roll up into position and we knock it, get it nice and square, ready for lifting the conveyor system. Ready? Yep. Right, to ensure we do not exceed the one ton lifting capacity of the equipment, we must use an 81 newton meter, 500 watt battery drill. This ensures that we can't exceed the one ton lifting capacity. The clutch will clutch once it reaches that 81 newton meter capacity. That interpret from 81 newton meters interprets into one ton lifting capacity. We locate our one inch drive onto our battery, onto our uh, mechanical lifter. And we go up. We have reduced capacity obviously for the fact that it's got one ton lift, but these are two give us the capacity to be able to just change out a quick roller when need be. These are better suited for your for your uh, unscheduled breakdowns when you need to get a roller changed and back on the line as quick as possible. When it's up in its full position, we're ready to, to carry out the service underneath the conveyor system. To lower it, we just put the battery drill in reverse and we bring the battery drill back down. We also have the same capacity with me mechanical lifters with the return belt lifting points to be able to lift our return belt at the simultaneously at the same time.